And just last one, since you have your eyes on 145 and that's like something you want to do in the future, um, if Volkanovski does end up defending, defending the belt against Ilya Topuria, how do you see that fight going? And what do you make of Ilya Topuria, who's been uh, you know, a rising contender in that division and it seems that he's the next guy in line? I think Ilya is really, really good. I think he's dangerous boxing. I think that's the difference between him and Volk, but Volk's got some really good feints, footwork. Ilya's more stationary, uh, typically tends to just walk you down, put the hands on you. He's got good anti-rustling. So I am interested to see how that fight goes. They're, they're both relatively the same height, same size. Um, I, I do lean towards Volkanovski because I think he just mixes it up a little bit more than Taporia. If Taporia adds in those kicks, I think it makes his game a little bit more well-rounded and it brings a different a different wrinkle to the game other than just training for boxing where Volk just has to stay on the outside, touch him up with calf kicks, inside leg kicks, um, clinch him up the way he did Jose Aldo when they fought. And that can make things tricky for Taporia. So Taporia has to do his homework if he wants to get his hand raised in that matchup. And I'll I just one more. Obviously, uh, there is a title fight coming up. Uh, what is your pick for Volkanovski at Taporia? Um, or oh, I've answered this a hundred times today as well. Let me think. I want to give you a different answer than I've given other people. Um, yeah, I think Tapura is going to beat him. Really? That's a different answer than I've given everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thanks. No worries. And it's it, it's tough. Volkan, it's hard to bet against a champion. You know, he's uh, such a dominant champion. Um, he he's been going up. He's you know fought Islam twice. He's just. Uh, it's always it's just tough to bet it bet against such a decorated champion. But Ilya is a tough, hungry, talented individual as well. So I I'm not the biggest fan of like predicting fights, especially like that. It's like a I don't know. But if, if I if I had to bet, I would probably lean towards Volkanovski just because it, like how can you go against him? You know, he just continues to improve and he continues to. Um, at least earlier in his career, people were like, okay, he's going to lose this fight. And then every single time he would win and win and win. And then he earned the respect that I feel like he deserves. And uh, are you hoping that Ilya Tapuria wins, given that you guys were supposed to fight a few times in the past? And yeah, maybe be it will be better for me if he's, he's win. You know, we have story. And uh, uh, this fight... Make sense to be over here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you feel like I think Volkanovski is going to win that fight next month against Taporia. If I if I remember from Media Day, uh, yeah, I'm still thinking he's a he's a he's a tough. He's still tough, and uh, he is not, not about Ilya. He's a tough too. He's a, he he's undefeated. He's a 14 or something. Mm -hmm. No, uh, and he, of, of course he has chance for uh, for victory too, but. My favorite still Alex, but for me maybe it's better if Ilya will win because you know, like we know, you know, uh, we have some bad story, and uh, for me it's good to take a title shot and him uh, for for once. Like, so assuming Volkanovski wins, how do you feel like your style matches up against his? Just go forward nonstop. Till uh, referee will uh, uh, in English how it's called. Как сказать поднять пока рефери не поднимет мою руку. Okay, my 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 translator. <laughs> okay, before I win, I, I'll go through uh, any anything. Absolutely. Um how do you think he does against Ilya Taporia? That is next. That's exciting, man. Tapori is really, really good. tapori has got very, very good boxing uh, from the very good defensive wrestling from the, from the looks of it. So hard to bet against Volk at this point, you know. But uh, Tapori is tough. I'm not sure. I to be completely honest, I, I learn I learn by studying my my you know contemporaries. I, I watch what they do. I take mental notes on everybody. Obviously, everyone does that. Um, but I, I learn by watching and, uh, when I watch them on fight night, like I just, I just watch the way everybody else would, you know, I don't really, I'm not super, unless you're my teammate, you know, uh, like Josh Emmett or Darren Elkins, I'm screaming at the TV, throwing things. I'm like standing up, pacing around the room. But if you're another guy at 45, I just watch like anybody else watches. So I'm, I'm not sure how that fight will go, but it'll be fun to watch. 
Jai, you've been in there with uh, Ilya Teporia. I'm just curious how you think he does against Alexander Volkanovsky. Um, I think, you know, Volk, he's probably up there. He's, he's, I think he's pound pound number one now at the minute. Um, I watched his last fight against... Um, oh, did he just fight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just I watched that last fight, and he, you know, he makes like great, really good fighters look look, uh, you know, not as good as him, basically. Um, I think Ilya probably do well against him to be honest, but I think Volk is just he's just like on another level at the minute.